Hi guys, you're with Barry, and I want to introduce you a couple of really cool people I met a couple of days ago uh, from Canada. I want to introduce you to our latest visitors, Sean and Angie. Hi guys. Hi. Hello. Uh, we didn't really know each other for any long length of time before you guys came down here. Uh, usually I, I meet people and we have a lot of correspondence and all that, but uh, briefly, you're from Canada. You're from uh, my home province, which is great, from Alberta. And what inspired you guys to come on out? Um, I, I guess the long story short, the first thing is, is uh, we absolutely hate winter, at least <laughs> I, I'm not a fan of winter at all. Um, so that was one of the biggest things. And then uh, economic reasons, things aren't the same. So we're definitely looking for alternatives. Looking for and uh, there's nothing wrong with a different way of life. Well, at times a change is good, uh, without a doubt. Uh, how was is, how is your venture? Did it kind of be what you expected, more or less, a little bit different or, or very similar? Well, how did it go? Since what, what have you experienced since we've been together in terms of is it different than you thought it might be? Uh, well, first, we haven't really traveled a lot outside uh, Canada and the U.S., so this was really our first venture into a third world country where we actually got to see what it was like for for the average person here um, thanks to yourself and Johnny hiding off camera uh, <laughs> we had the ability to get into the backwoods and actually meet locals and and kind of dispel that whole fear of everybody's out to get you and everybody wants what you've got and everybody is looking for the the scam and everything when she is a mother what do you feel um, as a woman and as a mother well I feel that it's fine for me um, for my kids I'm still thinking about it mm -hmm. but um, I don't think that they'd have anything to be afraid of and I do feel that they would probably be able to integrate really well as long as they learned a little Spanish <laughs> yeah very <laughs> important Spanish. you do uh, <laughs> or a lot of Spanish <laughs> but yeah yeah I think it it isn't as scary as I thought it would be what are their ages 12 and 15. So they're approaching the teenage years and yes. and, and and you feel rightly so it, it'll be an adjustment for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But they they just like their Wi-Fi and there is Wi-Fi here and things like that. So um, but I do want to try and get them away from that a little bit too. So and get out into the nature of things and this definitely has all of that. <laughs> but do you like the direction you see Canada heading? <laughs> Absolutely not. No. Um, I, I seem it, it, it just feels like the harder we work and the more money we try and make and save and the little bit more we try and get ahead, new taxes are popping up. Our leaders are giving away our money without looking at what's the best choice for Canadians and Albertans. And everyone's following the, the social trends instead of actually paying attention to what's actually going on and what are the what are the economic responsibilities they have to their people? Mm -hmm. And uh, when I'm looking at a 43% taxes all in kind of lifestyle. That kind of shocked Johnny when, when <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, but you, 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 you're not sensing that the people you elected have your best interest in mind any longer or for quite some time, no? Well, I didn't vote didn't for either them. one. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't elect them, uh, but but clearly they they don't. They and the thing agenda. is, is the people right now that work hard for their money, they work for a living, and they do everything they can to get ahead. You're putting the 80 hours in a week, so that somebody who's only putting in 20 can have the same lifestyle. It almost feels wow. because they're giving everything to social programs and and they're the people who are making more money because they're working harder are just crucified tax wise angie are you feeling the same way well i'm feeling it that way too yes <laughs> pretty much the same yes so you guys i feel like sean has to work so much harder than everyone else to get ahead but isn't getting ahead i made a comment on one of our trips because we've only been together for three days uh, uh, due to flight delay, we unfortunately lost a day, or I think we could have done a lot more, but we did the best we could on the short time, but 
does it make sense what I said on one of our days together about there's a paradigm shift that you used to, like in my parents' generation and prior, want to be born and work and be in the same home nation, and now you it's kind of reversed. You want to actually live in a different nation than you're born because you tend to get the perks instead of being the one that's always paying for the perks and not getting. I mean, have you been able to see a little bit of that in just such a short time together that we've been? Even oh, before yeah. I came here and met you, I was feeling that because forever I've been, I'm Canadian, I'm Albertan, I don't want to even leave Alberta, right? Like I didn't want to go you know, anywhere and I want my kids to be Canadian, you know, and all that. And just in the last year or so, I, it's come to my realization that it may not be the best place to raise a family anymore. We had a really pleasant surprise. Uh, Johnny and I had a meeting at uh, the attorney's uh, that was in the Sisu office yesterday about some business, and we stopped to visit a, a new friend, uh, Wayne and Arlene, that are uh, also Canadian. And uh, tell us a little bit about that surprise that uh, who their neighbors were. That was that was really shocking. It was great. Uh, turns out, while we were sitting there having a chat with them, and they were really uh, a great uh, couple to sit and talk with. But uh, while we were actually sitting with them, they had mentioned that there was a couple that was from Alberta that wanted to start a rehab center. And it just so happened to be that I knew a couple from high school that were doing something. And I believe it was in Costa Rica, but it turns out that uh, um, we're actually in the Dominican and they're living here in the Dominican, not in Costa Rica. And they're doing their center here. And uh, I've known them since I was 11. So it would have been uh, from grade se grade seven on, sorry, 12. All through mm -hmm. high school, you were in some of the same classes? And Absolutely. Yeah. Every uh, Well, it would have been every, probably two or three classes a day with him, all the way through grade seven through 12. And, uh, and what is he doing here exactly? Uh, he wants to start a rehab center okay. to, to help out with people. He's had some personal experience with it in his life, and, and he wants to give back. And... Uh, Figures that starting his own center in something that's beautiful, where it's a pretty low stress environment, uh, might be the the key to helping people. So, I don't want to take too much of your time because I know you want to head out to Diamante Diamond Beach and go for a swim, and and uh, you'll be back in the cold in a couple of days, and you want to make the <laughs> best of it. But I do want to ask one parting question. Um, share with our viewers what suggestion or idea can you give the people that are sitting on the fence post about coming out and seeing different lifestyles in different countries about the information that's out there versus what you personally experienced what advice could you give other families your age with children that have to consider this uh, in terms of how you felt I mean uh, we tried our best we show you the good the bad and everything we don't sugar-coated. Is there any suggestions you can give people that are, I guess, a little bit um, in the box of their comfort zone and just a little bit fearful to come out? Well, you definitely have to come here to see what's happening and what the place is like because I didn't have a clue. Um, it was a little bit of a shock and then after just a couple of days you're, you just relax and it's like, oh, okay, this is, this is cool. This is good. It's all good. <laughs> so, Yeah, you, you really just have to do it. Um, sitting at home procrastinating isn't going to get you anywhere. Or reading um, this stuff online is not going to help you. <laughs> we've done a ton of research or like I'll, I'll sit at home after work and, and onto the iPad I go and all evening I'll spend researching and looking at different places and the Dominican was the first place that we actually wanted to look um, because of some really favorable immigration laws that mm -hmm. you can actually jump in and get another passport. And so you can only do so much research online before you have to jump in and take a look. And by coming here, with spending time with you and Johnny, within 24 hours, we're walking downtown streets of Cabrera without a care in the world. And you say hola and you wave to people and they can't race fast enough to wave back and say hola, <laughs> you know, and bye bye. <laughs> and the thing is, is the, the myth that everyone's out to get you just isn't there. It's just not there. And Keeping your kids sheltered in one place 
the world's a big place. Technology is changing the world. And with, with airline travel getting more affordable and with the technology the way it is, got to go out and experience the world. One place is just not enough. So. It was worth your time. Yeah, oh, yeah. Definitely. Absolutely. Absolutely. Guys, I, I don't want to take away uh, any more time from your day. And uh, I really want to thank you for taking a few minutes to spend with us guys here uh, and coming to our house and, and uh, doing this little interview because um, I know it will help other people uh, get over that fear hump a little bit. And uh, I agree with what you say. If you're not willing to spend a few dollars to come out and investigate any country, that you're interested in, you're just you're just dreaming. Any okay. last bits of advice before we say goodbye? Uh, we want to thank you. Uh, it's <laughs> been, believe me, it's been my pleasure. I haven't Johnny. eaten so well, and uh, I can't remember <laughs> when for free. So it, it's been a pleasure, a sheer pleasure. Yes, um, thank you. Come here without expectation, I guess. Um, a lot of myths that I had were shattered, and just come out here with the open. Mind. mind of of life is just different it's not better it's not worse it's just different sincerely from uh, our hearts i could speak for the three of us which i won't usually do uh, we sure hope it's not the last time that we see you it's been a wonderful time for me anything but work i had a blast <laughs> and uh thank you for making it so much fun for me too i want to appreciate that thank you guys okay guys <laughs> until next time this is barry and dr we'll talk to you soon <laughs>